you see this entire configuration when you're installing a what? Kevin Darwin. Usually a forced hot water gas boiler. Yeah, it could be forced hot water, could be oil fired, um, but we're talking about hydronic heating boilers. So when you hear that terminology, hydronic heating boilers, it means the boiler uses water. You're not using this on a steam boiler. Neither one of these is going on a steam boiler. Maybe, maybe the part B on a steam boiler if it has an automatic fill. But other than that, that A device not using it. What is the A device doing? If I have water service coming through and bringing my water pressure in, most of the time, we're going to be anywhere between 45 to 55 PSI coming to this point. What is this actually doing at that point? They reduce the pressure to 25 PSI for the boiler. So not 25 because that would be 30. really high. It's 30, yes. Yeah, I mean, the maximum for boiler is 30 PSI. They can hold it. The, the valve, the pressure relief valve. That... So you're bringing up some good points, but the set pressure on that device right there should really truly never go over what? 15? 15. 15 yeah. PSI. Very good. So what is it really doing? If we're talking it, about 15 PSI max, you're going to be a licensed professional. I'm going to walk up to you and ask you what that device is, and you're going to tell me it's a... Pressure reducer. Ref That's good. Pressure reducing valve. Automatic fill, pressure reducing valve, as soon as it feels the pressure go down, kind of works off exactly the same concept. Same, slightly different look, still has a spring, still has a diaphragm. If you didn't know, you're using pressure reducing valves when you have over 80 PSI coming into the building. That's just a small version to make sure we have 15 PSI and we're keeping water in a boiler. So we got A is a pressure reducing valve. And the B is a... Backflow automatic preventer valve, like backflow. So backflow will be the general term. And you'll always see the word backflow as a multiple choice answer. But God help you, because you don't want to answer backflow, because as a licensed professional, you're supposed to know what that is. Um, would it be called a, a dual check valve with an atmospheric vent? It's not a dual check valve. That's a backflow preventer with intermediate atmospheric vent. In the case of too much pressure, backflow, or we have loss of pressure on the inlet side, boom, hits a backflow, all those nice little springs and Teflon stuff in there, and dumps through the um, atmospheric vent, other than going into the potable water system. Always to be used on hydronic heating boilers. If you're going to chemically put any type of chemical in a hydronic heating boiler, this is not to be used. You have to use a different device, whatever chemical you put in. If you have just water in there, you're okay with this. If you put any chemical, even if the container says, hey, this is not harmful, it doesn't matter based on a couple of tables in your code book.